Busted a 4-1 win over Hartlepool here at the International Stadium in pre-season. How did you rate the lads' performance? Um, yeah, obviously it was a, it was a really good performance. Um, the, we always go back to sort of what we know and that's working hard. Everyone within the club, that's sort of our mantra that we, we just outwork um, as many teams as possible and, and today the boys really put a shift in and, and from minute one really we worked as hard as we possibly could and that's all you could ask. Um, we pressed the ball really well at times um, and we got rewarded with a couple of goals from the press. We managed to um, play from the goalkeeper um, and got over the halfway line like we tried to work on on Tuesday but then we actually played into their half as well and we managed to get um, Adam and Macaulay in the little half spaces at times which um, obviously is going to hurt opposition so it was it was a, a good performance um, from us on and off the ball. You mentioned a bit of obviously pressing there, a couple of the goals came as a, a direct result of sort of pressing high and stealing the ball off Hartlepool and then just nicking in and getting a goal, so how pleasing is it? For, for you and, and Mike and Louis, the, the lads are taking that in and training and, and putting it into practice here on the pitch. Yeah, we, we work so hard on it um, and we, we understand that it's it's really hard for the boys to do. You have to be super fit to press because if they beat the press, we expect them to get back in as well. Um, but we can we can do it on the training ground and we can sort of scream press, press, press as much as we can. But if they don't get any rewards from it, it's hard for them to keep going. So the fact that we've got a couple of goals from it today is perfect for us because now when we're doing it in training we can sort of show the boys the, the rewards that they're getting they're getting the goals from pressing which is exactly why we press to score goals and um, so in terms of that it's, it's perfect for us really as a coaching team and for the front lads and the rest of the team to to get rewards from what we're trying to do and you did obviously go a, a goal down early on but then came back with a, a couple of goals later on in the first half and then another two in the second half but mainly how pleased were you with the, the lads reaction to going a goal down so early on yeah, it didn't seem to change any rhythm in the game or anything like that. Um, sometimes when you're playing well, you get a, uh, you concede a goal and it, it kind of changes what you're doing. But it, it didn't change our rhythm, it didn't change what we were trying to do, which was really, really pleasing for us. Um, as I see, we moved the ball really well. Um, and even when we conceded the goal, we continued doing that, you know. Um, we played out from the goalkeeper went wide at times, went through at times um, and, and that just didn't change at all and, and sometimes when you do concede a goal you're scared to play them little risk passes that are going to that are gonna break lines but the, the boys didn't, they, they sort of stood up for, for, what we're, for how we're trying to play and uh, it was really good. And you mentioned that last season's pre-season game against Hartlepool was a bit of a, an eye-opener for yourselves in, in terms of the fitness difference between the two sides, how did you feel on that front when you looked at things to the it's hard to tell because Hartlepool were a different side back then um, than what, what they are today. Um, obviously, I, I'm sure they're, they're going to bring in more signings and stuff. You know, you don't really know what type of side you're playing against today. Um, but all we can concentrate on is, is really what, what we've done. Um, I think we're, we're in a better position now than we were last year, um, if that kind of answers your question. Um, but we did mention that last year they kind of blew us away and we left the, the ground a little bit sort of... Um, asking ourselves questions about how we can how we can get better, which we're doing today as well. Really, we'll still go away and ask how we can get better, but it's a it's a much better performance than it was than it was last year. That's for sure. And a couple of the, the lads did come off during the game, then headed back down the tunnel, seemingly with a, a couple of injury problems. Obviously, Kevin came off, and then Elliot Forbes as well. Do you have any sort of idea on what the the problems are with those two at the minute? Kedwin just took a, a knock in his coccyx and um, he's tried to held the ball up, he's, he's took a knee in the back, it's just painful and uncomfortable, um, so we brought him off, L got a little bit cramp in his thigh um, and obviously we just need to look after L as best we possibly can after last season, so we brought him off, so nothing to worry about, um, the boys have got a lot of fitness in there today, that, that's ultimately how you're going to get your, your fitness you know, through matches, so we've got a lot of minutes in the boys, the right minutes in there, into who we needed, um, but nothing to worry about on the, on the injury front. Yeah, you said during the week that when the fans were back here in the stadium today that you were going to take a, a bit of a moment just to appreciate having them back in. How did it feel for you when you, you walked out and the, the fans were actually here in the stands behind you? It was class. Um, even from the, the start, doing the warm-up, just having people back in the stands, we didn't really have to see anything to motivate the boys because the energy coming in the ground was just there. Um, so I just said just embrace the energy and take that onto the pitch and, and express yourselves as well because ultimately... That's what the supporters are coming to see. They want to see good football and they want to see the players express themselves. So that's what we asked the players to do today. Um, and they did and they expressed themselves with working hard. And then the quality the quality comes from on top of that as well. So it was absolutely unbelievable to have them have them back. Um, it's probably a game that I'll remember for a long time just because it was the first game that we had the fans back in. 
and it was a good result and a good performance.